So, Nick's waving at me. I'm not putting you off. Yes, you're putting me off. Okay. Yeah. I'll just wait for him to go away. <laughs> Hello everybody. Today I have a vintage clothing haul for you. Um, we went to a boot sale last week and there was a lady there that was um, selling various items. Um, Nick started looking at things on the table. She had knickknacks, she had games. He was interested in her games and her media. And then I noticed she had piles of clothes on the floor. I'm trying really hard not to buy clothes at the moment because I have a lot, as you know, to list already. And I'm trying to go for the higher value things because it takes me so long to list. So I'm trying to be a bit more choosy about what I buy. But a couple of the patterns caught my eye. Um, so while I was waiting for Nick to look through the media, I started to have a browse. And then I realized it was all vintage. And that struck my interest immediately. Um, so I asked her, just out of interest, um, how much are your clothes? And she said, 50p. And I was like, okay. <laughs> 50p an item, right. <laughs> so I <laughs> got down and started licking through all the stuff and couldn't pick it up quick enough. I literally couldn't pick it up quick enough. 50p an item. Um, a lot of it is not very high value stuff, um, but it will make a nice profit from 50p. And it's just really nice, interesting items. Um, it ranges from the 1960s right up to the 1990s and yeah just some really nice patterns some really nice pieces and I just thought yeah I'm gonna go for it 50p an item I'm gonna go for it so without further ado um, I'll show you what I got so this one I am denied about actually I, I picked it up and then I put it back again and and then just decided that I was going to go for it. Um, it is Alexandra made in Scotland. You can see that. And that's the label made in the UK. From the label, I would say it's probably 70s. And looking at the style, I would say 70s as well. It's, it's what we would call in modern day a shacket. It is, it looks like a jacket. It's got um, popper fastening, um, but it's cotton and it feels quite thin. So yeah, you could probably wear it as a blouse as well. Um, but yeah, I thought 50p, I'm just gonna go for it. So I'm thinking I've looked up, I can't find anything by that particular brand. Um, so I'm thinking I'm gonna try 15 to 20 on it. Um, yeah, give it a go. These were lovely, really, really lovely. Um, they are vintage slips. So back in the day, women used to wear like an underslip under their dresses. And in modern day, um, it's very fashionable to wear them as dresses or to layer them up and style them up in different ways. So they will sell, they'll be good sellers. Um, but like I said, not huge amounts, maybe 10, 15, something like that. Uh, this one is BHS, and I think it's 1980s. And then there's this one, which is, Looks like it's never been worn. It's still got half its original tag on it. In a baby blue. And that is by Brett's. And looking at the label again, I reckon that's about 1980s. So I'm thinking 10 pounds at the least, and I've only spent 50p on them, so can't go wrong really. And they are really desirable items, so lovely. Um, okay, so the next one 
is a skirt which is Julius of London. The label looks very 1970s and so does the pattern. And it's just a sort of straight, almost pencil skirt, midi. Um, the waist is very small. It's probably about size six, maybe. Haven't measured it yet. Um, but yeah, I reckon again about 15 pounds on that. Right, and then she had a lot of uh, vintage collots and shorts. Um, and again, I was just thinking 50p, I'm just gonna pick it all up, pick it up. <laughs> so she's, she had quite a range. Um, this is actually a two piece set. It is vintage new look. So I reckon 90s, I think that that label's 90s. So they're the collots. And it had a little top that went with it as well. Just like a little sleeveless boxy top. Um, well, I'll probably sell them together as a set. And the shorts, I was thinking at least seven, eight, at, at the least, back on them. Um, but a set like that, I'm probably going to try 15. Uh, we'll see. I say all these things and then I change my mind when I'm actually coming to list them, but I'm just trying to give you an idea of what I'm thinking at this point. Um, so yeah, you're going to need your sunglasses for these patterns. Um, these are collots again, but they are by Art. And I think they're 1980s by the look. They might be 90s. But yeah, perfect for holidays. Um, a few of them, the elastic has really gone in them, but I'll just measure it up and, and mention that anyway. So, so I'll just say that there's not a lot of give left in the elastic. Um, and as I say, sell them as the measurement size rather than the given size on the label. Okay, these are new look again. Very 90s in the pattern. That so cool. <laughs> wow, very fresh Prince of Bel Air. So, I hope you've still got your sunglasses on because we have another pair which I think are 80s, they're not branded. Um, really colorful paisley pattern. So these are new look as well. And again, hardly any give left in the elastic, but really pretty. I'm learning about cottage core. Don't know if you know anything about that, you probably do, but I have an 18 year old daughter who is mad on cottage core. Um, apparently it's like, I'm probably going to describe this completely wrongly, but it is like a kind of aesthetic, um, very popular on Depop, um, on Instagram and TikTok, etc. Um, it's an aesthetic of um, fashion, aesthetic of household, um, how you decorate your household, the kind of decor that you have, um, all very floral, um, cosy, and I would describe these to be cottage core so if you've not heard that you've learned something new today but don't take it from me because I probably got it wrong <laughs> okay again new look very 90s okay so moving on from shorts we have 1980s BHS just a really nice floaty midi skirt. Can't go wrong with that. This one I absolutely love. I can't decide whether I think it's, I think it might be handmade, but it is really, really well made. 
I can't find a label in it at all, um, but I'll show you. This is the pattern and it's got pockets on either side and it's kind of just below the knee, A-line, and it's just really, really nice. I love that. So, again, difficult to know how to price something that's handmade, but it is vintage, it's a lovely pattern. I would say it's quite desirable, it's got the pockets everybody wants. So I'm gonna give 20 a go on it. We'll see. I'll put offers on it, of course. Right, um, this is 1970s, judging by the label. If I find the label, I can show you. Here we are. That's the label, Prova, and I can't see what it says underneath. I think it just says registered, I'm not sure. Um, Prova, anyway. But yeah, I mean, the, it's 70s, but the pattern looks very 90s, doesn't it? It's kind of 90s throwback 70s. Yes, <laughs> that's how fashion is. We're now, we're now 2020, throwback 90s, throwback 70s. Who probably took their inspiration from something else in the past at that point as well. So back to some shorts. These ones are um, not branded at all. Just a cute little pair of yellow shorts. And a similar sort of size, but these are branded cargo. Very pretty floral little shorts, little cotton ones. So again, I think this is handmade. The waist size, um, I would get half of myself in that. <laughs> but the skirt is beautiful and I'm sure there is somebody out there who's beautifully slim and would fit in it and would love it. But yeah, very, very pretty. Look at that. Lovely trim on it. It's a full skirt circle skirt very 1950s style so that's how i'll list it i'll list it as rockabilly 50s style and then this next one i absolutely love it is 1980s st michael look at this pattern absolutely beautiful It's got an elasticated waist. Um, I suppose you would describe it as a shirt dress um, or shirt waist. Really, really gorgeous. Just love that so much. Um, again, look, it hasn't even been worn. It's still got its original tags on it, which have been half torn off, but yeah beautiful yeah it's it's so funny look i think that was the original sale price on it 14.99 trying to see what the price was originally underneath but it's all stuck together so a bit difficult to see yeah the original price it looks like it said it was 19.99 so 20 pounds originally which is very reasonable today. <laughs> I'd be so tempted to keep this, but I know it will sell like that. So yeah, I'm not going to, I'm going to be good, but it's very me and I love it. Okay, so next one is Vintage Berkatex. Now from the design, it's made in England, from the design and the label, I'm thinking this is a 1970s dress. That pattern is very 70s, isn't it? It would have come with a belt, but the belt wasn't with it, so I'll just list that as such. Yeah, so difficult to know what to price dresses like this at. I'm thinking on the St Michael dress, 
thinking of trying 35 at the top end and putting offers on it. So I think maybe 30 on this one. You can always come down and that's what I always do. I, I try high and then come down if it doesn't sell. I'm happy to wait for a while. Now this is another handmade dress. This is very 1970s. I mean, just look at that pattern. That is so 1970s. Uh, it feels, it's got no labelling in it at all. Um, it feels like it's cotton. Just a straight down dress. Just below the knee in length. Yeah, that's nice. Um, I'm probably going to try again 25 to 30 on that just because it's unique. Um, I might even try more, who knows. And another handmade dress. I love this. I wouldn't wear it. It's not my style, but I really love it. I think it reminds me of my nan. <laughs> um, yeah, it's polyester. It's that kind of polyester that just doesn't crease. And really pretty floral summer pattern. That's the top of it. And again, a midi, I would say. It's that classic design that you would see people wear in the 70s and 80s. And it's very, very nostalgic. And yeah, I think, again, I'm gonna try around 30 pounds on it, just because it's very unique and very nostalgic. I'm sure somebody's gonna love it. Okay, then we're moving on to slightly older dresses. This, again, I think is 70s. Unfortunately, this one has got some wear under the arms. Um, I'll obviously declare that. I can't see how I can repair it, um, so I just have to photograph it. And if it's going to sell to somebody who loves their vintage and is into their vintage they probably know different tricks of the trade and different ways to repair clothes and how to look after them so i'm just going to let somebody else deal with that and declare it all in the listing um, but the pattern is beautiful it feels like it's linen it's got a tie waist Again, midi, I think, and it's got really nice detail with the buttons over the shoulders. Yeah. It's stunning. It's a shame about the damage, but hopefully somebody will buy that and love it. Okay, I'm thinking this is 70s as well. By the label, it looks like it's 70s. Stunning, vibrant colours. Uh, I'd say it's probably about knee length, maybe. There are no other labels in it, so I'm not really sure what the material is. It feels a little bit like linen, but I don't think it is. Might be a linen cotton mix. Um, but yeah, it's a slightly more sturdy material and it's just beautiful i just noticed that it has like little popper loops inside as if it had like a slip dress or something inside it originally it was maybe more for comfort when it was first made but yeah i don't think you would need a slip underneath it it's had hardly anywhere for its age i would say the colors are still so vibrant it does have a little bit of pulling but it's very very minor So I'm thinking about about 30 pounds to try again with offers. Ah, oh, just notice it does have a little mark on it as well, which is a shame. But yeah, 
I probably won't try and get that out um, because I'll end up ruining it. So I'll just declare that. Last but not least, I think this is probably the dress that caught my eye to start with. Look at this pattern. <laughs> um, I would say this is 60s. It might be 70s. There's no labelling at all to give me an idea of age. Um, I'm just going on the style and the pattern. So it could be 70s, but I'm going to list it as 60s, 70s. And again, totally reminds me of my childhood. It's that kind of um, thicker type of material. Um, again, that doesn't crease. So yeah, this is an absolute stunner. And I think I'm going to try about 50 pounds on this one with offers. But you don't see many of these dresses come around. And, um, and I think it's very unique. It's possibly handmade and it's just beautiful. So yeah, that is my winner of this haul. So that's the end of the haul. Thank you very much for watching. If there's anything that you're interested in at all, then feel free to message me on Instagram. Uh, the link for my Instagram is in the description box below. My husband and I go out thrifting together. We go to boot sales, jumble trails, that kind of thing. So if you're interested in watching videos where you come along with us and see what we pick up, um, we do quite a lot of those. Nick makes lots of videos about all aspects of reselling. I do the occasional haul, I enjoy picking up vintage clothing, vintage homeware, knickknacks, clothing, all that kind of thing. So if you're interested in that, I'll link a video above of one I've done before that you might be interested in watching. And um, if you're not subscribed already, uh, maybe think about subscribing and um, please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. So bye for now. Thank you. Take care.